How's it going, everybody? So about a year or so ago, I was at a craft fair, and I saw something that looked similar to this. It's just this impossible-looking uh, braid made out of a single piece of leather. There's no cuts in there. It's just a braided piece of leather, and it just boggled my mind trying to figure out how someone would go about doing that. So I decided to come out to the shop today to do a couple different braids and just see if I can figure it out. And it took me about 15 minutes to do the first one, and then about a half hour past that to figure out exactly how I did it the first time. But I finally have my system down, so I want to show you the sequence of how to make these. So the first thing that you want to do is measure this and uh, cut it into thirds. Okay, you don't want to go all the way to the end, you only want to cut in the middle. I'm going to leave a one inch gap on both ends, but you can leave as much or as little as you feel necessary. Okay, so if you make two cuts, you'll end up with three pieces. Now if you're planning on putting a finish on it, right now is the time to do it, because you're not going to get a great option later. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on it. So once you figure out the sequence for how to braid this, it's really not that difficult. All you do is you just start braiding it. One, two, three. And when you get to the third one, you'll notice you'll have one side open more than the other. These two are kind of following the same line. This one's separate. All you do is you take your end, you feed it from front to back. And then you do, you do that one more time. One, two, three. And this will finish your braid. Once again, you have two lines coming out one side, this line comes out the other way. You'll notice there's a much bigger hole here. You just follow it right through that hole. And that is our first braid. Since this is so long, I'm, I made it long enough so I could do it twice. We're going to do it again. That's one, two, three. Feed it through. This last one's always really difficult. You want to make sure you bind your braids as tight as possible up there. We go one, two, three and fish it through. Now if I did that right, I did not, there we go. You fish it through, and then all you have to do is dress the braid. And there you go. And these things are really cool because you can use them anywhere you would normally use a strap, whether you're going to be doing like a, like a, a satchel strap or a purse strap, uh, you can use these things as drawer pulls if you want to put some screws to the ends. You can use them, if you use some of the smaller ones, you can do little zipper pulls, you can do keychains. You can use this for all kinds of stuff. Anywhere you would normally use a, a leather strap, this is a great project for that. Well, that was fun. I've never done these before, so I'm really excited that they turned out so well. Um, once you get the sequence down, they're really not even that difficult. If you incorporate these into any woodworking, I guarantee you, it'll turn it into a conversation piece. Well, thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, please hit subscribe. I try to have a new video out every Friday if possible. We'll see how well that works. But until next time, catch you later.